Welcome to pre and postnatal Pilates. I have a really nice, quick, full body flow that's gonna leave you feeling nice and limber and strong through your shoulders, spine and hips. We're actually gonna start this one in standing with your feet nice and wide apart with your toes facing forwards. We'll take your right hand towards your right side knee, left arm reach up towards the ceiling, gliding your hand down the knee, reaching up and over, pausing there and a little pivot to look up towards the ceiling. Using your oblique strength to carefully come back through center, straight to the other side, left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and over, little twist through that shoulder, and coming straight back to centre, using your core to come all the way back. We'll go three each way. Incrementally, if it feels good, getting a little lower through that hand, stretching through your lats, your side waist, and a little bit through that spine. Using your core to carefully come straight back up, straight up and over. Again, a little rotation up towards the ceiling. And let's go one more each way. Getting a little bit of depth, if you can, as you warm up. Dusting off the cobwebs down that lateral plane of the body. And last one to your second side. And from here, coming back to your start position. From here, just turning your feet slightly out, hands to your knees, bending through your knees. From here, just pushing your knees wide, start to drop one shoulder. And twist, dropping the other shoulder. So just getting a little bit of mobility through that thoracic through the shoulders and through those hips. Getting a little bit more rotation as you drop each time. One more each way. And from here, coming back to center position, just taking your hands towards your right side leg. And then from here, just gently coming down into a little side stretch here. Left arm will reach up towards the ceiling, stretching through your left adductor and your right hip coming straight on across other side. Right arm reach up towards the ceiling. And then from here, coming all the way back, carefully coming back up into a standing position, roll your shoulders, taking your feet now to squat width apart, slightly wider, slightly turned out, hands by your sides. We're gonna get some strength into those hips. Now they're nice and open. Pushing your tailbone back, reach your hands forwards, hold at the bottom, little pulse once and twice, standing straight on up, double leg key rise once and twice, back into your squat to hold. One pulse, two pulses, standing all the way up, heel rise once and twice. So we're getting a bit of length through the spine as you push your tailbone back, getting strength through those legs, getting mobility and strength through the feet, ankles and calves once, twice, we've got three more of these. Pulsing once and twice, all the way to the top. Heel rise once, twice, two more rounds. Reaching your hands forwards, one pulse, two pulses, all the way up tall. Calf rise once, twice, and away you go again. Last one here. Once. Twice, bonus squat, come down and just hold here. Little bit of thoracic rotation. Static hold of your hips, roll your right elbow back to center. Roll your left elbow back to center. Hips stay still, shoulders stay down. Strengthen stability through the pelvis and the legs. Mobility through that upper spine. You've got two more each way. Last one, each side here. and coming all the way up. Just give a little shake out to those legs. Spinning around here and just carefully making your way down onto your knees. And then from here, hands come down into a nice four point kneel position. Straight into a cat cow, relaxing through your pelvis. Just round, tuck, lift through your ribs. Straight through extension. And back to neutral here, hold. Reach your left hand forwards, lengthen your arm. Reach your right leg straight back, lifting up through your deep abdominals if you can. So just think about lifting up through that belly button just enough to engage that midsection. Hold for three, two, 
one straight back down, opposite side, right hand, left leg, squeeze the left glute, hold, engage through that torso, long spine, stable hips, three, two, one, and we go again. So we go back to the original side, we hold this one here, a little bit of a challenge, a slight lateral wave, left arm left, right leg right, and back to center. Left arm left, right leg right, back to center. So taking it nice and slow, we've got five here. Envisioning you've got some sort of beverage sitting on your lower back, trying to keep your spine nice and flat. Last one. Straight back down, right hand, left leg, reach and halt. And then from here, five little waves open and close. So again, trying to keep your spine steady, your pelvis nice and strong, getting a little bit wider with that move as you can control through the movement. And two to go here. Nice. From here, the hand comes down. Just from here, push your body weight back to the heel slightly. Reach your right arm out to that right. Just a little thoracic twist under that body. The ear comes down, get nice and low. And reach that arm up towards the ceiling. Spinal twist. Straight back down, left hand out wide to the side. From here, left arm comes all the way under. Getting nice and low. Left arm reaches all the way up to twist. And then from here, just walk your hands back towards your knees. And we are gonna come straight on down into a little bit of glute work. So coming onto your right side, stacking your elbow under the shoulder, lifting up through that lateral side waist. Reach your left arm up to the ceiling, extend that left leg out nice and straight. From here, the elbow will come towards that knee, turn those toes up, and then reach all the way long and across, extend that leg. Elbow to knee, turn the toes up. Reach and extend overhead. Your eye gaze will follow that hand. So you're working that left side of the body, but keeping the right side of the body nice and strong and in check. Inhale as you're coming in. Exhale as you're opening. So you're getting a bit of rotation through the ribs, through the hips, as well as strength and stability through the pelvis. Four to go here. We are gonna hold and pulse. Three. Keep that left elbow pushing up nice and strong. Last two. And very last one, hold the length, hold the stability. And then from here, 15 seconds of little pulses with that right leg. Left arm reaching long, left leg lengthening nice and strong. You have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two and you're done one from here before we go to the other side just coming into a slightly reclined seated position with your knees bent just rock your knees from side to side so you've got your palms flat just a little bit of rotation through that lower back through your hips knees just softly bent for five four three two and one spinning straight around to your left side here, you've got your elbow underneath your shoulder. From here, reach that right arm up towards the ceiling, right leg nice and long. From here, we go elbow to knee, turn those toes up, X in a rotation, and reach overhead and long. Elbow to knee, X in a rotation, reaching up overhead and long. Inhale as you tap, exhale as you lengthen. So you're getting strength on your left side, Length and strength on your right side. Keeping your torso nice and anchored. Hips nice and stable. And keeping those toes turning right on up as you make contact. Toes back to neutral as you extend. Five to go here, we hold and pulse. See if you can keep that left side rib lifting. Four. Three. Two, finishing this last one, hold and reach. Arm reaching overhead, toes nice and centered, 15 seconds of little pulses up and down. So keeping them small and really reaching, so you're getting length through that side body. 
stretch through the lat, but strength through the hips. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And done. From here, straight back over into four point. One more cat cow stretch. From here, shaking off those hips, round curl tuck, lifting up through those ribs, looking towards your belly button. Draw the ribs down, look towards the ceiling through extension. And from here, reach your hands forwards, just dropping your chest a little bit into a happy puppy. So your belly will go back towards your knees, your chest will drop towards that mat, stretching through your thoracic and your shoulders, a little sway from side to side. For three, two, and one. Walking your hands all the way back towards your knees. Final stretch here. You can either have your bottom flat to your heels or have your toes tucked under if you want a little stretch for your plantar fascia. From here, reach your left arm up, right hand towards your right hip or heel, whatever you can reach, and just lifting up and over. So just a little lat stretch and into that mid intercostal space. Straight to the other side. Left hand down, right arm up, right hand over, stretching through those ribs, through that side waist. For three, two, and one. And you are all done. I hope you feel nice and loose, nice and warm, nice and strong through those hips and ready for the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed your session of Pilates with a B. If you did, I have a whole smorgasbord of classes. In the link below, you can get access to my whole platform, over 240 on-demand classes, 14 live classes a week. And all you need to do is click the link below for a free trial. Get into it, you'll love it.